Hey everybody, here's a tip on how to Bluetooth any stereo or speakers that you have for cheap. Between about uh, 8 and $12 probably. So we all have stereos like mine, you know, that are fairly current but they don't have Bluetooth capability. And with your uh, smartphones and Pandora, you know, it's, it would be convenient to be able to control uh, Pandora through your stereo nowadays. Well, here's how you do it. And you can do it through a boombox or through your PC speakers if you have extra set of speakers. For cheap, you get one of these kits. I'll put in the description what to search for. It's actually a little, little difficult to find on eBay, but it's called a uh, Bluetooth audio dongle adapter, uh, and it's more specific than that. But what you don't want to buy is the hands-free car kit, which is meant more for phone calls. What you want to buy this, which is meant for this application. Uh, also, you want to get. I recommend this one in particular that looks like this because it has an internal battery. And that's important because it's a little bit more mobile, so you can unplug it and, and bring it with you somewhere, and you don't have to be plugged into a power source. Um, some of the cheaper ones don't have a battery, and you have to have it plugged in all the time, which limits your portability. So anyway, pick up a couple of these for your home. I've got one for um, my car, actually. I've got one for the stereo. I've got a set of PC speakers I use in, in the room for a kind of a portable Pandora stereo, and I've got an uh, old boombox that I keep in the bathroom. And I, I plug that in, and I've got, so anywhere I go in the house, if, if I want to listen to music, I can listen to some good music instead of just the radio. So usually it'll come with, depending on what's in the kit, it'll come with this connector, which connects a male to male piece. Um, it'll come with a charger cord, which is a USB charger cord. I have it plugged into a laptop, but most people have plenty of these laying around to plug into the wall for phones. So you can, you know, wall charge it at the same time or, you know, kind of permanently install it by your stereo. Um, and just have that option kind of permanently there. So here's how I have it attached to the stereo. I'll just walk you through it real quick. So I have the unit here, which I already have on. This plugs into whatever source you want to take the, the in this case, music to. So I've, I've got this cable here, which connects to the back of the stereo. So I've designated an input, in this case you know, video three, you pick one of your inputs for your stereo, and you run this into the input left and right audio, okay, and then this cord has a headphone jack on the end. That comes back around, the same type of cord from the stereo. Now you want to connect it here, so you need this this male-to-male -male connector piece, which I'll connect here for you. Uh, Trying to do this with one hand. Okay, so now it completes the connection to the device. Now I can unplug this, but I've just got the power source plugged in just for kicks, but it's got a battery in here and I could, you know, just walk away from it. So, uh, you know, then I got Pandora playing uh, through my phone and it's already connected. So all you got to do is turn up the volume. There you go. So, you know, to make it a little cleaner, you can have this plugged in down behind the stereo somewhere and have it turned on all the time. So all you got to do really is just switch to this input and have you know the music start streaming when you turn on Pandora on your phone and sit there on the couch and you can uh, play your music in the stereo. Um, so that's it. Check it out in the uh, description. There's a little more uh, description about where to find it on eBay and the prices, but it's pretty cheap and you don't have to go out and buy new equipment. So hope that helps. Enjoy.